Someone decided to dress up as old Dwight Schrute's mom. What? You're only one third as beautiful and about. I was thinking just now about why do I feel isolated at times or when you know you have people in your life who are there to support you. But also, there's times where it inevitably feels like. Reaching out and sharing those things comes with great responsibility to eventually make sure that like yeah Don't worry. I'm fine in the end or after they give you advice. You're like, oh, yeah, thank you Like you want them to feel rewarded for helping you or something like that All I wanted to say to share with you on this platform is that Some things are so stigmatized you have the pressure to try your best to pretend not even pretend but just turn into someone who is independent strong like okay capable productive and this and that then suddenly like disappointment is so stigmatized and i think that's what was so liberating for me to have realized just now i really admit it to myself and like i have my final review in one week you know i only have a few days left and this morning i went to do this at school i guess it just really irks me and it has been really weighing me down that the truth of it is i'm just really i'm right now i'm disappointed with my work and that in no way means that i'm disappointed in myself i'm allowed to be disappointed with my work just because you're capable of making great work doesn't mean you have to make 100% all the time great work and that every time you pick up your pen, you have to make the next masterpiece or this work or even for videos, like this video has to top the last video. I tell people casually, oh yeah, like I'm working at this really slowly or like, yeah, what I'm doing right now, I'm not into it or and then their reaction, which I understand, is just like, no, it's great, what are you talking about? No, you're wrong, like, no. But like, why can't somebody just feel that or think that? Because maybe it's the truth. Maybe I can be disappointed in my work and that will just encourage me to do better next term or whatever I'm doing that I don't like right now, I still have many decades in my life to make things that I truly truly feel like is me you know on a more positive note so this morning I went to the industrial knitting machine and my collection is based on the theme of whimsical sort of weird creatures and I took a lot of the designs like I had a lot of oval designs from moths and butterfly wings looking at that and how their markings are to emulate eyes which is supposed to scare off predators or also help them camouflage and things like that so i was taking those motifs and abstracting it and making certain textural fabrics and i tend to be very graphic as a person so with knitting i was trying to explore more structural overall surface textural fabrics and this is based on the eyes and I like how the wool puckers, I'm going to wash it and dry it so when it shrinks, it will look even more green because they're they're gonna felt together. I was expecting the green, green and pink to be a lot more vibrant, but the fuzzy black yarn dulled it out, so. I think I've also been feeling down because of SAD. The gloomy skies are you know they affect everybody like everybody i hear complains about it and for some reason because it's a cliche it's almost like okay get over it like no one cares um but maybe it's legit like i just feel down i'm really glad that i was able to tell you 
sometimes I'm hesitant about sharing my problems because I'm afraid to worry people or that they'll like come to me talking about it and I have nothing to say. Um, sometimes you just share, but you don't have to follow up by saying like, oh, this problem is resolved, everything is fine. I would just do my best, you know, as a promise to myself as a student here in this apartment that I'm only going to be in for half a year with my two cats who are only going to be as old as they are now and just live my life and really enjoy it. I don't want to keep thinking, when I graduate, I'll be happier or I'll be less stressed out when I graduate. There's always going to be stuff that stresses us out. So, I just want to be present. I'm trying. The best thing I can do for Bambi is just completely ignore him so he's not nervous. Mug from MoMA, courtesy of Savers. They're sitting on it. I have been processing more orders of Lilith's collection. Today our prints are going off to Germany, Canada, Canada, Ukraine, California, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Oregon, and the UK. This is the first time I'm wearing skinny jeans in maybe two years. I found my old skinny jeans while I was cleaning the closet the other day, and I want a snug silhouette in order to wear this oversized long sweater, and skinny jeans would allow me to wear my knee-high boots, which I haven't worn in two years either, so I'm not used to it. I mean, it's flexible, but I'm just not used to feeling a tightness around my knee. That was a nice short trip and it was sunny out so riding the bike was really good. I like how I don't have to deck out and dress super warm. I always dress just a little bit cooler because when I ride my bike uphill I get quite sweaty or my heart rate um, is really fast. I try to visit my friends at Impact Everything but they have holiday hours so they're actually not open um, and I got some cards for my family from the gift shop and I also found this other thing okay I'm trying not to buy as much random shit now I always focus on what do I actually need and then I would happily make a purchase that's, that's kind of what happened today so in the sale section I, I, I got my eye was caught by this thing and not only is it knit it's yellow and it says John Lemon and it's a lemon 
which is my aesthetic fruit. I, I really like lemons, even though I cannot, I cannot eat lemons. I do like artificially lemon flavored things like Starbursts. But the other day, I got a lemon ginger tea for my throat, and I was with Cat at this cafe, this vegan cafe. And oh my gosh, I tried. Okay, I'm not a tea drinker, and I'm not a fruit tea drinker, but I told myself, try new things. I was going to barf. What is this? Well, it is a water bottle sock. Well, why the hell do you need that, right? Well, I feel like maybe this was just designed for novelty reasons, but this is actually something I was thinking about for so long. I'm gonna wear it like this. I'm kidding. I mean, I would at least get two if I was gonna wear it like this. I have this water bottle that I've been using for a long time now. I got this on my flight to school in September and I, I don't really purchase single-use plastics but this was given to me maybe you saw it on my story because I asked for sparkling water and then she came back with a big bottle of water because I think she misheard me I like that this is bigger than a lot of bottles so it carries so much water and I did research on this because I know some people are going to flare up and say oh it's so dangerous or don't do that or this and that but a lot of the rumors about it being really toxic came from this 2001 master students essay that came from i can't remember like maybe university of ohio or something so that was like 18 years ago it was never peer reviewed or published in a scientific journal anyway it's also like that type of plastic i can't remember what it's called pet stands for polyethylene telephthalate i i'm not a scientist this is hilarious though because Coca-Cola's attempt to say, oh, we care. Um, they made 30% of this plastic plant-based, but I mean, why can't you just make it 100%? I read on their site and they said like, oh yeah, we're so innovative. We came up with a way to make it 100% and we even showcased it in Milan or whatever, but yet they're not doing it yet. There's definitely precautions to take, like if your plastic is decaying or cracked, um, or it's getting white and foggy or you're leaving it in the sun then it's definitely risky um, but I don't have a car I never leave this in the sun I'm only using it in my room or I bring it occasionally to class and I like that it's so light <gasps> amazing that's the thing you know these days I saw so many documentaries talking about the reality of recycling and this that and like i guess recycling is taking a whole new meaning now i think plastic is a great innovation it's just that we have made it so integral to our convenience it's just like almost free in our minds that we just throw it away right but like what if we just treat it more preciously than if you reuse it or i mean i guess you should reduce which is true but then also reuse when you can yeah by the way i do wash this bottle as well i have like one of those water bottle brushes i'll link it if you're interested this is amazing so now i don't have to worry about it looking ugly because i always hate seeing it on my desk the green goes with the green leaf too also got some other stuff but i'm not going to show you or else the people i'm going to give it to will know So let's do crochet until two. And I'm gonna do the dishes. Clean. Clean. Clean the kitchen.
my, so it's nine. Today has just gone by with barely any footage and I was supposed to be drawing a second sketch for one of my project presentations and I got bored. <laughs> so then I started drawing something else for fun, which I'm still doing, but I really shouldn't. I'll show you when I'm done, but I'm enjoying myself. Our Thanksgiving break just really threw things off this year because normally when we have that week and we come back, we have two weeks of school before the final presentation, but this year we only have one. I realized that this time next week, I will be completely done. And all I have to do is go to bed and prepare for my flight. But yeah, I need to get myself together. Hold on, this is my sister. I need to wash my hair. Oh, I was supposed to get dry shampoo today and I have not. I'll wash it tomorrow morning. My hope is that I can wake up early. I, I was so tired for some reason at 7.30. But I'm gonna go to bed soon. It feels good to be cleaned up, ready to go to bed. Hopefully I can get up pretty early. I'm guessing that's a very beautiful sunrise, but we can barely see it. <laughs> Bambi, look, it's the sunrise. <laughs> when I wake up in the mornings, I first turn on my magenta lights because I think it's softer on the eyes. Getting up early is one way I battle seasonal depression because I get more light time in a day. It's around 6.30, which means I experience nine hours of daylight, whereas if I got up at 10, then I would have five hours. All along, I thought that the original soy milk I bought was unsweetened, the red carton. It was the only other one available other than vanilla. And then I went to a different grocery place and Kat was telling me how they actually add sugar and I checked and yeah, there's like eight grams or something. I was like, ugh. Mm, makes a difference, yeah. I mean, of course. But it allows the flavors of the coffee to come through instead of the soy milk. So it's it's actually preferable. Bambi, look what you did. Huh? You got so excited. You mess everything. Gosh. He saw something and was like, oh my god. And just... Well, at least he feels bad. Yeah, do, do, do you feel remorse for what you did to me? Huh? I've been working on this crochet. Slow progress, but it is lunch now. I stir fried up some cabbage. Everything else is the same as last time I showed you, but I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna watch The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel while I eat because season three came out today on Prime Video and that show is very entertaining. So that is it to this week's December Daily. Thank you for tuning in again. Wait the third December daily because it's every other day so I will see you in a day and a half as you can see my voice is kind of coming back which I'm very excited about because part of why maybe I wasn't feeling as festive when listening to Christmas music I couldn't get in the mood because I couldn't sing along I mean now I am mostly completely recovered which is great um, tell me how you've been doing I hope that you have a great rest of your day until I see you next rest well and take care